This is uh, an individual, Varicia variegata, rough lemur. Uh, individuals of this species, I don't think it was this subspecies, but of this species lived on the island Nozimangabe, where uh, just off the coast of Madagascar, where I did my dissertation research. And there, this was in the late 90s, uh, I was told by a local man, a naturalist, that a particular plant, whose identity I've long since forgotten, was eaten by Varicia variegata, was eaten by individual females of this species of lemur as an abortifacient. Now, I don't know if this is true. I've never seen, I don't see it in the literature. Uh, he assured me and I asked another naturalist and he said, yeah, I've heard that too, but I have no idea if that's one or two data points. I don't know from, from whence it originally comes. Um, but the idea that apropos nothing, we weren't talking, you know, I wasn't talking in my very poor French and his pretty middling French, neither of us in our first languages while walking around the rainforest in Madagascar about reproductive rights. You know, we just, we ran into a troop of these guys and he mentioned that there was this, this plant that the females ate as a way to terminate their pregnancies when they needed to. Um, whether or not that particular thing is true, it got me thinking then and has me thinking again now about uh, the fact that it shouldn't surprise us if this um, and other smart animals find ways to solve their own problems. And there are a lot of reasons that a woman or a rough lemur might feel the need to terminate a pregnancy. This issue has never simply been as simple as it's a life, which is what we are told, which is what, you know, what the, the sort of the tagline for the position of the extremists on the right is it's a life. For some people, that is the issue, beginning, middle, end. That's all you have to say. That's all there is to consider. But for most of us, it's, it's not, there's just more to it. And the fact of there being um, two organisms involved, a pregnant female, in this case of a Libra or a, a pregnant, a pregnant adult human female in the case of uh, women, uh, doesn't, you know, that and, and a fetus does not acknowledge, I mean, does not, is not responsive. The argument that it's a life is not responsive to actually what about the other life you're talking about here. And again, I don't know if actually other organisms are using plants as abortifacients. It wouldn't surprise me. I've been told it's true. I can't find evidence in the literature, but of course the organisms aren't going out and putting stuff into the scientific literature, are they? Uh, so I, I guess I wanted to add this and a couple of other little pieces in here about how really complex and messy categories are, how simple some of them are, things like female, very simple. Uh, but at the point of whether or not women should have a right to terminate a pregnancy that if they carried it through to term uh, would radically alter everything that they could do with their own lives and would likely mean a much poorer quality of life for that child. Uh, to respond to that with, it's a life, we can't have this conversation, has always felt like it is missing the point. Missing the point. And, you know, I think your allusion to the recent um, debate over defining what a woman is, for example, is exactly right. This throws you and me for a loop because the answer is, well, this is a biological question, right? right? It has a, you know, 500 million year history at the very least. And so, you know, the necessary tools to even have the discussion are not limited to this moment in history in this particular species. They are embedded in a much bigger story that has a lot of logical rungs on the ladder. And this one is the same way, right? The fact is, even birth is a bit arbitrary, right? A human baby is not independent, even if we say it's viable because it can survive at this moment. Survive means with the intense care of adults, right? And very few people right, a vanishingly tiny number would be comfortable in a society that has as much abundance as we have with people terminating their already born children because their economic circumstances have changed. So the point is we already draw a line in which the point is we say, actually, you have to care for this individual beyond this point, or you have to, you know, at least make sure that they are cared for. 